my blazing knights, it's me Phoenix, and welcome back to Phoenix Reacts. Today, we're gonna be reacting to Springtrap and Delilah Part 5. When we last saw Springtrap and Delilah, it was going really fun for the two, until the game of hide and seek got really creepy. Springtrap was it, and basically lured Delilah out of her hiding space. When she came out, he scared her, which kind of reminded her about her dream. About him. To which, Springtrap kind of demanded Delilah tell him about it. Later that night... Deli when Delilah fell asleep, she dreamt about Freddy Fazbear's pizza place and had a ghost tell her not to go anywhere and leave the place. She was hiding from Springtrap and then Springtrap caught her. Want to find out what happened to Delilah? Find out in the reaction. Want to go check out Sans Comics TV's channel? The link will be down below. Want to go check out the original video itself? It'll be up above in the iCard if you're viewing entertainment. Let's jump right in. Without further ado, this is Phoenix Reacts. Last place in action! Don't you care. I just want to go home. This is your home now. And I know you'll love it. What? Here, let me show you. You're gone. Look at them. They're oh awesome. my gosh! It's like a never-ending party for us. This family really grows on you. Oh my gosh, you see the ghost over there? There is no pain, no sadness, just everlasting joy. I look after them. I make them happy. It's a gift I give, really. Oh my gosh! And you're a lucky girl. Even though you've come late to the party, So I've saved the best place of all. No. Just for no. No. With me. No. What? Right in here. For oh my gosh! gosh! <laughs> it was just a dream. You're kidding me! He was about to shove him into his body! What's going on? But please, Springtrap, just leave me alone. I, I'm fine. Did you have a nightmare again? Just go away. Delilah. Stop it, please. Stop it. Oh, God, no. Okay. Okay. Let's stop. Yeah. I knew it was about him. to leave, but I'm not going to until you know you're safe, okay? Can I come closer? Yeah. No. Now I'm just going to put the blanket around you, okay? Okay. I just want to say the voice acting is really good. Your dream. But can we at least talk about how I can maybe make it better? Yeah. We can talk about this uh, over cookies, <laughs> like we always do, right? Right. Don't forget the cuddles. Never forget the cuddles. Cuddles? Oh, no. There you go. Cookies. Now, let's talk about this nightmare of yours, okay? Uh, yeah. It's fine. I've already, uh... About it. You don't forget a nightmare about you almost being stuffed inside the person who's about to stuff you. I'm just well, saying. It's a dream about your past, so I just... It is. Oh, gosh. Come on. Why don't we just talk and play like we used to? I've been in such a funk lately. Just... Be my it's that hairy kid. He's, he's dangerous. Can't. Not when you're so close to figuring out. Figuring out what? Come on, Spring. Dropping the ball. Get it over with and just tell me. You can't keep it from me forever. And the ghosts are pouring in too. I am not losing you, Delilah. Do you want our friendship to go up in flames, huh? What? But well, this no, is Phoenix I... Blaze, so. Well, it's not going to happen like that. 
Because guess what? I'm never letting you go. Never. Even if you hate me. Never. I am not letting this go. Okay, that sounds really creepy, man. I, I, I didn't mean it like that. Get away from her. <laughs> Bro, he swallowed him. He's standing up for himself. Well, you were being creepy. Come on, Delilah. There's something very wrong with him. I'm right here. I hear every word out of your mouth. Dang! He just has some anger issues. Calm down, Springtrap. Come on, let's go to the living room and just talk and chill out. I kind of see our dad's point of view, but I also see Springtrap. I don't feel pain anymore, Nicholas. Pain anymore? Spot anymore? Wait, did he just say he would kill him? Mr. Animatronic Robot? I, I didn't mean... It was just a slip of the tongue. A voice box. You get the idea. Here, Dad, have one. Trust me, Springtrap makes the best cookies. You want to know what I think about him? Go on, tell us. That creepy granny they got on Springtrap, it's crazy. I think he's not who he says he is at all. I think he's hiding something big. There's something very evil about him. And no, I don't think he's actually your friend. Somebody hasn't met one for right. all, or all for one yet. Right. Nikki, let's talk. Alone. Just Wait, did he say he wanted to talk to her dad alone? A second to talk you back in, right? I wouldn't take that offer. I don't think I've made this message clear to you, Nick. Delilah is my friend, and I'm never giving her up. And I know, I know I'm not the best influence on her, but I'm trying. I'm trying to be good for the first person who has ever given a damn about me. So, please, just let me stay. I'm... I'm sorry. Alright, fine. But one more outburst and you're out of here. Understand? It, yes. Thank you so much, Nick. This means more to me than you could know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you can change. If you're really trying as hard as you say and you really haven't changed a bit, well, I don't think there's any hope for you. Well, well, looks like you screwed up yes again. What excuse will you use this time? I have anger issues. It just slipped out. <sighs> oh, come on. What's it now? That character sounds like Delilah. Or maybe it... What? Yes. I haven't changed. I lost my temper on Delilah again, and I was trying so hard not to. I don't know how to break my old habits if I can't just stop. I have a pathological fear of abandonment and the fear of losing control. Too intense. Too selfish. I'm just too... horrifically evil. But I want to change. For her. For wow. Her. She thinks I am. I want to be a real friend for her. Not a fraud. And... I can't change. I just need somebody to help, right? Wow. Oh, yeah? That was... Because we're not going to help you. Not a chance. Yeah, I know that. You guys won't help me. Nick and Delilah can't know what I've done. Who I turn to. I can't do this by myself anymore. I need someone. Someone who's calm enough to... <laughs> Wait, I know the perfect guy to help. Uh, he sounds familiar. I like his voice. Harry. 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 Oh my gosh, he's snuck into Harry's house! How'd you get in my house? Uh, don't worry about that. I'm not here to hurt you or anything. You see, I need your help. Tell you about it, but you need to promise not to laugh if I 
cry. Ten minutes later. Okay, what's going on, man? <laughs> I was really, really trying not to go crazy and snap at Delilah this time, but I did anyway. Yeah? Why do you think that happened? I don't know. I just... got really afraid, I guess. So I tried to take control. Let me tell you something. When me and Dells were hanging out, she told me a lot about you. She did? Wow. She told me you were always there for her when she needed someone. And that you were a super dork and made her laugh a lot. Sounds like me. And that you're the best pillow she's ever had. Best pillow, huh? talking about how cool you were to her, man. You were so cute. You really are her best friend. And you know what she made me realize? What? She said you're a funny, weird, adorable bunny trapped inside a mind with an insane stress problem, dude. Wow. I think she may be right. So... Harry's about to help Springtrap. I wonder how that dynamic would go. Guess we'll find out in part six. But I wanted to say one thing that the ghosts sound a lot like Delilah. Is that foreshadowing something? Or is that just a voice actor just doing another role? Either way, I like it. I just think it's... It's got my theory senses tingling. Also, sorry that this is, that this was almost late. Quizzes, exams have been kind of messing up my schedule with, with Phoenix Reacts, so I kind of have to get better at that. Oops, sorry. But, um, I'm trying, I'm trying to get more videos out for you. If you have requests, I am still behind the scenes, behind this camera, working on them. And also, I'm working on more, more collabs with my friends. I actually, I'm, me and Star are going to do one later on his channel. So if you want to go check out that, I'm doing something on his channel. But I'm also working on other scripts for other top tens, if you catch my drift. And um, just more stuff coming on the channel before 2019 ends. So we are... Almost there, people. Two months to go and we'll be in 2020. With that being said, I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave this video a like if you like it. And share with your friends, your family, and even your dog. Dogs need to watch this video. <laughs> Add to your favorites if you really liked it. Want to see more Scorching Out videos from this channel, subscribe. I make videos weekly or daily depending on my schedule. Have any requests for reactions whatsoever. Leave a link to said video down below. Make sure it's not 30 seconds long and I will definitely react to it. Help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers and you will get a special video from yours truly. We are almost there, people. We are just under... We have at least 100 to go, so let's hope we get to that goal. Because I, I'm really wanting to get this special video done for, you, for all of you guys. You've been supporting me throughout this entire year and throughout my entire YouTube career. So I thank you all. With that being said, I hope you all enjoy. Stay tuned for more videos. And remember, many hearts never apart. Let them all play the nights. Be next. Play it out. <laughs>